Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex Swing back for another cat review, which is of course on the last part of the three-part special that I promised you guys. Um, why this video is kind of late is because one, I obviously procrastinated, and two, I actually went for Music Bank in Singapore, which is to support my favourite groups, which is Mamamoo. Red Velvet You probably can see why I'm pretty distracted, right? At the point of time and stuff. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to the main point here, which is uh, these two caps. So for this video, I'll be doing something slightly different compared to the other videos. It's because we're having a cap face-off between the Amazing Spider-Man versus the Homecoming Spider-Man. So anyways, uh, the main reason as to why I'm doing this is because um, when the Homecoming cap first came out, you know, uh, people were trying to compare what's the difference between, between these two caps. So I'm just going to put out this video to tell you what's the difference, the similarity, and of course, what do they have in common. So let's move on to the first difference, which is obviously the colour, which I don't really need to point out to you because you can see it for yourself. And second one will be their eyes. Slightly nearer, material for the eyes, plastic, plastic, and the back embroidery. Pretty straightforward here. This one. Uh, the eyes are a bit more proportional, I feel. And then material for the eye is this white fuchsia pattern vein that they say it about. There's a mis mysterious black material. And then obviously you can't forget the shiny black embroidery here. Next difference would be the material, which I've explained before, which is this one is made out of honeycomb material. And this one is in the new fashion uh, diamond era um, material. Next one. Woo! Move backwards. Will obviously be the logo. And it's pretty obvious, right? I mean, uh, you can see in all over the cinema, they've been using the new logo here. And this is the classic old Spider Man logo. And then I think what sets you know, the difference between these two caps is actually the work done between the two caps. Let me show you why. For the Amazing Spider Man one, Ah, right here. The web that is all over the head feels like it's actually printed on instead of uh, you know embroidered on. And this one feels like you know it's just embroidered with not much effort made somehow or rather. Because I'll show you why as compared to the Amazing Spider-Man one here. Look at that beauty of the logo right here. You can see it like you know there's like some volume here. Let me show you this side. Look. Seems like it's jutting out, right? So, and then, I think what's the best thing of all is actually, you know, the embroidery between the whole head is actually really embroidered instead of printed on compared to the homecoming one. You actually can feel like, you know, the embroidery, the stitchings and everything else here. So I guess that's what some people were pretty upset about for the homecoming one. And let's not, you know, forget the price difference between these two caps, I guess. So anyway, the next difference would be obviously the underside of the brim. Um, basically, I think because... Um, when they first made the Amazing Spider-Man one, um, yeah, when they first made the Amazing Spider-Man one, uh, it's pretty long ago, and then uh, at the point of time there was, it's not really kind of like you know the fashion to actually put like a upward 
on the brim actually. So I guess that sets the difference between these two caps. And then the next one would be obviously a sim similarity this time, which is pretty obvious if you've seen the previous video. Ta-da! They have webs all over, and then you have like you know the random spidey at the side there, waiting for things to happen. Oh well, same same but different anyway. So next one would be to show you what they have in common, which is pretty obvious actually, which is the new era, new era hat logo. They're both in black, black black, and then also the brims are actually in the same color, which I'm sort of pretty much surprised. They are both in royal blue color, if you can see from the camera. Ta da! So anyway, guys, uh, this will actually conclude uh, the three part special because I'm done with you know telling you what's the difference, similarity, and what they have in common. So. Let's make it more interesting this time, which is um, I would like you guys to actually comment below on which cap do you actually prefer. Do you prefer the Amazing Spider-Man one or do you prefer the Homecoming one? And then you know, sh sort of share with me what you actually like between these two caps. So don't be shy, just leave your comment. I'm not gonna eat you even though I'm on a diet and stuff and I feel like eating fried chicken. <sighs> so anyways, this but definitely conclude, you know, this the three part special. I so I hope you guys enjoyed this spidey madness with me for the past three videos. So till then, it's actually obviously your friendly neighborhood cat reviewer Alex swinging off. Over and out.